Welcome to a three-part series that we're doing on Gmail etiquette. Today's topic is going to address the famous reply all option. So to save everyone from getting unnecessary emails that they then have to filter through, um, please do your part and hit reply and then check and see if it's only going to the intended recipient and not to a whole school or a whole group if that's not your intention. Um, I like to think of the reply all as kind of like an Oprah moment where it's you get an email and you get an email, you get an email. So if you'll do your part and use that sparingly, that would be awesome. Um, there are also two other options in email that you may notice, the CC and BCC. CC is for carbon copy. It's used to keep someone in the loop of an email, but that person doesn't have to feel obligated to then reply. For example, I might have emailed Miss Arrington about an issue or about something that I wanted her to know about. Um, and I need Miss Buckingham to also just know about it, but doesn't necessarily feel like she needs to reply back to me on it. Um, a BCC is that blind carbon copy. It's often used when you're sending a mass email to multiple recipients um, so that others won't be able to see their email address. I use this on my Tech Tip Tuesdays when I send it to the schools. It helps streamline um, my email. Um, and it just keeps things a little bit cleaner. So this is just some um, little etiquette tips on reply all and CC and BC. BCC, if you have any questions or um, you need some help, please always reach out to your ITS.